don't know. Would you wear denim on denim dress and long denim jeans? I feel like I'm breaking a lot of rules here. Hello, internet friends. Today, I wanted to show you guys some of my favorite go-to wintertime looks. I already have on one of my favorite winter finds so far. This is a vintage 1970s cardigan. I talked about it in a few videos back and I have just been wearing it nonstop, literally nonstop. Before we get started and breaking down all of these looks, I do wanna say a quick thank you to Vivaya for working with me on this video. They sent me three pairs of shoes to test out and have some fun with. I am so excited to show you guys these shoes. Why am I so excited about these? Because they're water repellent. And I have talked about this already in multiple videos about how I am so nervous to wear some of my like best shoes out in public. In Florida, you just never know when it's gonna rain. Especially when I go into the parks, when I go to Disney World, it just feels like I'm constantly walking through puddles. The ones that are water repellent are the boots. The shoes that I have been wearing nonstop though are the Margot Mary Janes in red. These are so cute and so comfortable. I also picked up the running heels in Julie Pro. Uh, it kind of cracks me up that they call these the running heels mainly because apparently you can run in them. I have not tested that theory out yet, but supposedly you can go for a brisk jog in these bad boys. And then these are the water repellent wool knee-high boots in the Terra Pro. These are gonna be the ones that I grab all the time to wear into Disney because man, walking around with these are gonna be so perfect. I'm so stoked. Thank you again so much to Vivaya for working with me. They also offered me a 12% off discount code, 12% off with code VONV12. I will leave all the links down below if you wanna check any of these shoes out. But if you live in a wet, humid climate like I do, highly recommend. Okay, so first and foremost, this has just been my go-to quintessential look. But then you throw on the red ballet flats. Favorite thing to do lately with this style look is to match my socks like a very different color, just like a standout pop. But I think if I wanna be a little bit more classic, this is more of a kind of New York street style look, I think, when you throw on like a pop of color with it. But if I wanna stick to the more classic aesthetic, I think the heels, the running heels, those are the way to go. This whole look is such a vibe. So cute, so classic. Can I run? You guys know I'm always a sucker for anything with ruffles. This dress caught my eye. It's from Zara and I just, the ruffles. It's the ruffles. That's what always pulls me in. It never fails. Um, but I think this with a good pair of boots, it's a winner. You know what I actually love about this dress is I can wear this as a top too. It's short enough that it can be a top and it's long enough that it can be a mini dress. Just give me anything with ruffles and frills on it though and I, I'm instantly happy. You know what I'm channeling here with this look. This is my inner Ghani girl. <laughs> She's not Ghani. She's 100% Zara, thrifted Zara at that. I am so here for this. It is so cute. I don't know, would you wear denim on denim dress and long denim jeans? I feel like I'm breaking a lot of rules here. A lot of things that people would not typically want to do. Most people don't want to wear a dress with pants and then most people also don't want to do denim on denim, but I'm here for this. Sometimes though, you just gotta have fun. You gotta spice up your wardrobe. You gotta throw some creativity into the mix. And I definitely think denim on denim, dress on jeans, that's some creativity right there. Speaking of denim on denim, I think this is easily one of my new favorite tops. It is not denim. It's like a faux polyester 1970s number, but it has this really cool faux stitching. So it makes it look like it's that like classic 1970s patchwork but it's not, it's polyester, but it's got the pointed collar. You all know how I feel about a good pointed collar. It's always a winner. I mean, these, I probably need to cut them, honestly, but do I want to cut them? No, because I love, I love how they look on the ground. Like that, it's so annoying at the same time, it's so stylish absolutely obsessed. It's such a cool classic piece. I can't tell if I like it untucked. I think untucked is just as equally a vibe. There is just something about tucking a shirt in though that gives you such a polished look. Now I've been holding on to this dress for a hot minute because I knew the right pair of boots were gonna come into my life to make this look perfect. And here it is folks. 
This is an Antonio Milani dress. I did thrift it. Uh, the best part was it was missing the size tag. So it was marked down because of that. And I don't think anybody was really looking at it because they didn't know what size it was. But I saw it and I was like, you know what? I don't think it matters what size it is. I still don't know. Could be a two, could be a four, could be a six, whatever it is. Because of the belt, it fits perfectly. So I am so stoked about this dress. But you throw in the sleeves. The sleeves are what does it. Now this is one of those dresses that when you find it, you look for any excuse in the world to keep it. This is by the brand Co Los Angeles, C-O. I had never heard of it, but when I started looking up more about the brand, I realized this is a high-end, very expensive number. However, the weird thing is, and every once in a while I'll see this in my job, where even though it's expensive, it does not have a cult following, so therefore people are not buying it on the resale market. It is very high quality, it's silk, silk lining, everything about it is high end, but it just doesn't have any resale value, which is so bizarre. But to me, I see that and I think, oh, that's going in my wardrobe. This is also though, one of those pieces, the more you do with it, the more you can have fun. I feel like this is one of those kind of flouncy, vintage style dresses, throwing on a blazer over it, such a cute look. I do feel like though, this calls for a little bit more of a classic shoe. I love it. This though, this right here, this is the ultimate classic. It's now time for me to change into something a little bit more comfortable because I think we have enough time to go thrifting. So we're gonna do that. But I wanna take these out. I've already worn the ballet flats so many times and I can attest to those being comfortable but I wanna wear these to the thrift store and see how they do. For the thrift store, I think I'm going for maybe a little bit more of like a 90s model off duty vibe. So let's get started. Oh, get a little, little stretching, some yoga. This is like 1980s colorful jackpot. All the way down here. What? I wish these were in my size. I'm gonna leave these here because somebody will pick these up. I guarantee it. They are so good. I wish they were my size. Remember what I said about belts? They are next level here. Look at that. So good. Ugh, but that is peeling. What a bummer. This, like that chunkiness, so good, but it's so poorly made. This part's cracking off. Okay, this is a good one. That's another good one too. The size on that is really good. It's a good buckle. I love this spot for their belts. What is this? What is this? Is that a fake Donna Katz? That's like fake Hermes almost? I don't know. I'm gonna hold on to that one. This is actually super cute and it's just Urban Outfitters. Oof, I would rock that in the summer. Don't eat it right now, but I'm obsessed with it. You know, mark my words, one day I will either thrift or purchase secondhand some killer Margiela boots. Someday, it's gonna happen. It's like the only reason that I actually come down the shoe aisle anymore. So one day, it's gonna happen. few home runs today. I found some Alice and Olivia jeans. These are really good because they're the wide leg too, which I really like that. Got a little bit of distressing on them. They're a good one. I think this is my personal favorite find though. This is a vintage velvet blazer. It is so cute and goes so well with the outfit that I have on right now. It's perfect. Oh my gosh, 100% velvet. You can't go wrong with that. That felt good. I feel like I found some really good stuff. Uh, some, a couple pieces that I'm keeping for myself, a couple pieces that are going in the shop. So today 
was a good day. I think I'm going to end the vlog here though. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you guys are new around here, I might have a couple extra videos for you right here and right here. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. You guys done yet?